Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice algebra problem, which is x squared over 100. This is equal to 100 over x squared. So what is the value of x or what are the values of x? Now let's provide a solution from here. We have x to the power of 2 divided by 100. This is equal to 100 over x to the power of 2. Now let's cross multiply here. So that now we have x to the power of 2 multiplied by x to the power of 2. This is equal to 100, which is 10 to the power of 2 times 10 to the power of 2. Now this is in the form of a to the power of n times a to the power of m, which we can express as a to the power of n plus m. Applying this exponent property, then we have x to the power of 2 plus 2. This is equal to 10 to the power of 2 plus 2. So we have x to the power of 4. This is equal to 10 to the power of 4. So let's take 10 on the left hand side so that we have x to the power of 4 minus 10 to the power of 4. This is equal to 0. We can express x to the power of 4 as x to the power of 2, raised to the power of 2, subtract 10 to the power of 4, which is 10 to the power of 2, raised to the power of 2, this is equal to 0. This equation here is of the form a squared minus b squared, which you can express as a plus b multiplied by a minus b. In our case here, we have that a is equal to x to the power of 2 and b is equal to 10 to the power of 2. So we have that a plus b equal to 0. This is the same thing as x to the power of 2 plus 10 to the power of 2. This is equal to 0. Let's call this case 1. And we have that a subtract b equal to 0. This is x to the power of 2 minus 10 to the power of 2. This is equal to 0. Let's call this case 2. So let's start with case 1. Let's start with case 1, which is x to the power of 2 plus 10 to the power of 2. This is equal to 0. This equation here is of the form a squared plus b squared, which we can express as a plus bi multiplied by a minus bi, which is equal to 0. So we have x plus 10i multiplied by x, subtract 10i, this is equal to 0. So we have that x plus 10i, this is equal to 0, and we have that x subtract 10i, this is equal to 0. So we have that x1 is equal to minus 10i, and that x2 is equal to 10i. So we have x1 and x2 here. So let's proceed to case 2. Let's proceed to case 2 which is x to the power of 2 minus 10 to the power of 2. This is equal to 0. This equation here is of the form a squared minus b squared, which can be expressed as a plus b multiplied by a minus b. So we have x plus 10 multiplied by x subtract 10, this is equal to 0. So in this case, we have x plus 10, this is equal to 0, and we have x subtract 10, this is equal to 0. So that is x3, this is equal to minus 10, and x4, this is equal to 10. So in fact, we have four solutions. We have four solutions here. 
we have that x1 is equal to minus 10i. We have that x2 is equal to 10i. We have that x3 is equal to minus 10. And that x4 is equal to 10. So these are the four solutions. The next step is to verify that these four solutions here satisfies the equation. Now, if you recall, we have that x to the power of 2 divided by 100. This is equal to 100 divided by x to the power of 2. Let's start with x1, which is minus 10i. So we have minus 10i raised to the power of 2 divided by 100. This is equal to 100 divided by minus 10i raised to the power of 2. So minus 10 to the power of 2, this is 100 multiplied by i squared divided by 100. This is equal to 100 divided by 100 multiplied by i squared. We have that i squared, this is the same thing as minus 1. Let's substitute minus 1. So we have 100 multiplied by minus 1 over 100. This is equal to 100 over 100 multiplied by minus 1. So if you simplify here, we have that minus 1. This is equal to minus 1. And this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this affirms that x1 satisfies the equation. Let's check x2. Now x2 is 10i. And this means we have 10i raised to the power of 2 divided by 100. This is equal to 100 divided by 10i raised to the power of 2. So 10 squared, this is 100 times i squared divided by 100. This is equal to 100 divided by 100 times i to the power of 2. i squared, this is minus 1. So this is 100 times minus 1 over 100. This is equal to 100 over 100 times minus 1. So if we simplify here, then we have that minus 1 is equal to minus 1. That means the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side. And this implies that x2, which is 10i, satisfies the equation. Let's check x3, which is equal to minus 10. This implies we have minus 10 raised to the power of 2 divided by 100. This is equal to 100 over minus 10 to the power of 2. So this is equal to minus 10 to the power of 2. This is 100 divided by 100. This is equal to 100 over 100. So if we simplify here, we have that 1 is equal to 1. The left hand side is equal to the right hand side. And this affirms that x3, which is minus 10, also satisfies the equation. Last three, let's check x4, which is equal to 10. So we have 10 to the power of 2 divided by 100. This is equal to 100 over 10 to the power of 2. 10 squared, this is 100 over 100. This is equal to 100 over 100. Now, if you simplify here, we have that 1 is equal to 1. And this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this affirms that the four solutions here satisfies the equation. So kindly follow the steps, like this video, and kindly subscribe.
like this video and kindly subscribe see you in the next video